production of L tryptophan. So we can say like in 1967 there is no any scientific report like uh, tryptophan have been produced and maybe they have underwent some of the combinations of reaction or conversion of some of the chemical reaction in order to obtain a tryptophan. Um, basically they have used the conversion of anthelenic acid or else coupling of an indole serine or else by the transamination of 3 indole pyruvic acid and conversion of uh, beta indole lactic acid. So these are the basic things they have initially underwent the tryptophan production. But at the end of 1980s we can say like uh, some of the enzymatic reactions as well as the fermentation processes carried out especially the demand for the tryptophan have been increased uh, for the animal feeds and also in pharmaceutical industries. That's why they underwent from the chemical to enzymatic method and nowadays there are many fermentation methods have also been utilized. So they are also using some of the genetically modified organism to enhance the production of tryptophan. So this is the overview of like the history of tryptophan, how it has been produced. This is the structure of uh, tryptophan. So tryptophan will contain an aromatic chain and also the indole chain. It is relatively a polar molecule. So as we can say based upon its structure we can classify this tryptophan into L tryptophan and also the T tryptophan. So here we are going only for the production of L tryptophan which have a very varieties of uses. The tryptophan is an essential constituent of diet. We can say it will have a very good role in protein synthesis and also some of the biological functions uh, such as uh, it will act as a precursor for many molecules many pathways and all we can say it uh, for example serotonin pathway melatonin pathway tryptomine pathway and uh, quinonic acid and also for the pathway of uh, chironic acid this will be very essential for the regulation of appetite or else uh, mood management we can say for the digestion purpose it, it this tryptophan will act as an a uh, very good precursor for the, some of the neurotransmitters for the production of neurotransmitters as well as the uh, in the protein synthesis we can say it. Um, even for the coenzymes NAD and NADP this is also useful for it. What are the basic sources of tryptophan? By nature itself the tryptophan is available in chicken, turkey, fish, egg, milk, cheese and also in beef. And if it comes to an plant origin like nuts, peanuts, peanut butter, pumpkin seeds, soya, sunflower seeds, rice, banana, potato and wheat flours. So these are the basic sources we can naturally take it instead of going for a supplement of the tryptophan. The biosynthesis of tryptophan. Uh, already uh, whenever I am talking about an amino acid, the biosynthesis plays an important role. Uh, in it starts from the glycolysis pathway to the production of your particular amino acid. What are the each and every steps, what is the exact enzyme is more important for the conversion of the intermediates and then the final product of your specific amino acid. Uh, because this conversion uh, because of the presence of your enzyme and also the amino acid and also the microorganism which can able to convert an uh, initial component into a desired product. So in this conversion of your tryptophan, uh, this diagram represents the biosynthesis of our tryptophan, exact bioconversion of and uh, we only know that from the glycolysis pathway when it have been reached the chorismic acid. Uh, it will be converted into anthelenic acid with the help of an enzyme anthelinate synthase. This anthelenic acid will be further converted into N5 phosphoribosyl anthelinate with the help of an enzyme phosphoribosyl transferase. This N5 phosphoribosyl anthelinate will be converted into 1 ortho carboxyphenyl amino 1 deoxyribosylase 5 phosphate with the help of an enzyme PRA isomerase. This will be further, this intermediate will be further converted into a uh, indole 3 glycerol phosphate with the help of an enzyme synthase. This indole 3 glycerol phosphate will be converted into indole 
with the help of tryptophan synthase and also the serine will come and added to the indole in order to form the l tryptophan this is what the exact bioconversion of our tryptophan so when it have been reached this tryptophan it have undergo many pathway as i told you in the previous slide it will undergo many pathway in order to produce some of the neurotransmitters or as a hormones which is very very essential for the human and also some of the animals it have been used in the also in the animal feeds we can say it so serotonin melatonin niacin all these things or some of the neurotransmitters which is, which have a very variety of roles which we will see in the further slides then we will move on to the production of tryptophan already in the initial stage in it is by using a chemical method they are have manufactured this tryptophan but the quantity of the tryptophan is very minimum when it comes to a commercialization of production so they underwent some of the enzymatic reaction and also the fermentation process uh, in the history already we have seen that in the 80s and all uh, most of the fermentation methods have been used some of the microorganisms which can able to produce the tryptophan or bacillus subtilis pseudomonas aeruginosa and also the e coli so nowadays the commercial for the commercial production they have underwent for the genetically modified organism some of the stains like e coli and uh, which which will be able to produce a particular enzyme which is called tryptophan synthase this tryptophan we we have seen the bioconversion no so in tryptophan synthase the exact indole will be converted into l tryptophan with the help of an serine amino acid okay so in when the initial stage as in chemical method they already use the indole from the petrol industries and also the sugar industries they have collected serine they have fused together and in order to form this tryptophan